Hello and welcome to the Liz Experiment YouTube channel. This is the channel where I record field notes from my journey towards architecting my best life. I'm recording this week from Hood River, Oregon, where I'm pet sitting a yellow lab pal named Keezy. And this week I talk about, well, my reflections on how much I trap myself with old stories and assumptions and fears and caring what people think. And I also talk about just how profound the movie Groundhog Day really is. So with that, let's get into it. Life's a foolish game. Do you ever feel the same? Well, maybe we could change. Turn the ship another way. So I mentioned in the intro that uh, one of the biggest, well, the, the biggest learnings I've had over the past two weeks, but really it's, I think the biggest realization or learning or lesson of this entire journey of all of our journeys probably and I mentioned it time and time again but that is that I trap myself and hold myself back with thoughts uh you know thoughts about what I think other people are thinking thoughts about other what I think other people are feeling thoughts about what I I don't know just think I'm feeling or thinking or analyzing and all of these ways to just prevent myself from simply being and and simply um, enjoying each and every moment to the fullest. And so over the past couple weeks, I think because I've been around people more consistently and interacted with a lot of people on a more consistent basis than I was doing when I was simply traveling and pet sitting, being background friends, being background people I know, for example, here in the gorge, I think I, I find myself, mm -mm, I choose to go back into those old behaviors of, of, um, angst. <laughs> There's no other way to say it. And so what I worked on this week and, and last week, um, was noticing that. I think that's, I, I actually will celebrate that. You know, I noticed that. And now I'm working on, and I have been working on, doing something about that, choosing differently. Because as I've said time and time again, I our thoughts control our, our whole perception. Our perception is our reality and we are in control of our thoughts and what we perceive. I am in control of how I look at all of the situations in my life. I am in control of how I choose to treat others and how I choose to treat myself. That's the lesson. That's how you architect your best life, right? It's you you get control of your thoughts. That's um, thank you Buddhism. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> that is a lesson of all time. And so I I did a lot of work in that regard, noticing when I was negative self-talking or projecting my own fate or I don't know, my own something I should be owning onto those people around me, um, wishing things were different. I didn't do this all that much. I mean, I had a great couple weeks, don't get me wrong. But just, you, you that's the challenge I think is noticing it in the moments, noticing when you aren't in control of your thoughts in the small moments, you know? And so when I noticed I was doing those things, I reframed my thoughts and I said, okay, what am I not doing here? What am I not taking control of? I want to take control. What am I not um, owning? What am I not being responsible for? And so that's been a ton of work. I mean, it's a short way to say it, but it's it's a, that's it's a lot of awareness. Uh, what brings me joy? What doesn't bring me joy? Um, and then taking action, either thinking differently, acting differently, feeling differently because I'm thinking differently, whatever those things are. And then on top of that. Uh, we, my friends and I watched the other night, we rewatched, um, a few weeks late, but you know, we were getting there. We rewatched the movie Groundhog Day and I hadn't seen this movie probably since, I don't know, like the eighties or nineties, like when it was first new, I haven't just, I don't watch it that much. But when I watched it again, it was, it was a profound moment for me because I realized, wow, this entire movie, again, this is probably something you may have realized, you may not have. But I'm like, this entire movie is just about life. Everybody, yeah, he's living the same exact day, 
which is is kind of like the um, the push, the extreme that makes it a fun story, you know. But we all live similar days to our last ones, um, and that film is really really about you need to find joy in each moment for yourself because nobody else around you is going to do that for you. Now, that doesn't mean that being around your husband or child or wife or whomever or your best friend or cousin, I don't know why I said cousin, I have a lot of them, I guess. Um, that doesn't mean that being around them doesn't bring you joy, but they are not responsible for making you happy. You're responsible for each and every moment of your existence, or at least how you perceive it, um, and what you do at that moment. And as soon as he does, as soon as he says that, as soon as he realizes that, you know, the time shifts and it, and, and the movie ends and it's, it really struck me. So I, I learned that this week, <laughs> how profound the Groundhog Day movie was, or the movie Groundhog Day. And I also, I guess I've just been processing that. Like I've been, I, I, I almost want to go back and rewatch it and diagnose all of it. But I, I also did some um, Googling and Googling, searching on the internet. And I saw that some people have written existential theory, like philosophy uh, papers on, on that film. So maybe I should just read some of those. But um, that, that was basically my week. I also, or my past couple weeks, I've been meeting a whole bunch of really great people, though. Uh, in the meantime, as I'm doing that, I'm meeting a whole bunch of people. I went up to Seattle. I bounced around the gorge. I really went inward on work. Um, but those two were really the biggest, and I guess it's all wrapped in one, right? Like existentialism, make the most of the moment, own your life. Uh, that's, that's what it's all about. So it's a short one this week, but... Um, it's a powerful one, I hope, for each and every one of you. Sorry, y'all, technical glitch. But what I was going to say is that next week I will be back here in Hood River, still uh, sitting for Keezy. And I wanted to thank uh, Snowflake featuring Adam for the music that I use in the intro and outro. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to get these videos in your inbox or in your YouTube alert thing every week um, or every time I do one, don't forget to hit subscribe. And if you have any thoughts on anything that I've said in this video, I would love to hear from you. So please comment down below. And until next week, thanks for watching.